a trending topics community. We just found this very funny house full of intelligent devices developed by a Bulgarian company called M Climate. We are very curious what it's all about, so we're going to ask them right now. M Climate, we initially started with uh, our product, Melissa. All of our products help you make your home smart. We help you save your time, save your money, and of course, give you more comfort. Basically, our products uh, make your entire home smart by retrofitting your old appliances. The essence behind it is that we want to connect your appliances to your smartphone so that you have greater control uh, over your house and um, so that our algorithms give you better comfort. Because all the devices basically, um, they monitor your, um, your usage. We have Melissa, which makes any air conditioner smart. We have Bobby, which makes any water heater smart. We have Vicky, which makes any radiator smart. So if you're heating with gas or district heating, maybe pallets, who knows? Um, we turn your existing dump heating system into a new one. Um, we have smart plug, uh, which makes any appliance smart. It basically turns on and off the appliance. You can hook it up to a lamp. You can hook it up to, for example, an iron. I, I, I have this at my house because um, I, I always used to forget the iron on. Um, so what basically happens is that in my our application, it tracks my location, so when I exit home, uh, it turns off the iron automatically. Uh, it's convenience, and again, safety, saving money, comfort, all those stuff. How many of the products are your own development? Software-wise, all of them are our development. Hardware-wise, um, we have a, a robot vacuum cleaner. It's a very nice uh, smart, smart home product. Hardware-wise, it's not our product. It's being produced in China. Uh, but our, it runs on our software. The market for smart water heaters in the US is estimated to be 3.7 billion uh, annual. Annually from just making the existing water heaters, they're smart. So a total um, value added would be generated because utilities, they want to have control over your water heater. Why? Because it's essentially a battery. So whenever, for example, there is overproduction of uh, wind power, wind generation or solar generation, the utility actually doesn't have where to store this energy. And what they do, and we have pilots in uh, three, three utilities in three different countries, um, what they do when they have overproduction of renewables is they basically turn on your water heater, it, it heats up, they basically insert the energy there, it's almost free for you as a consumer but you're also helping the grid and you're helping the environment as well. Which are your markets? Since last year, we started selling from our own website and we sell internationally. So we sell to all kinds of countries, Trinidad and Tobago, for example. We have sales there. We even have a distributor there. Um, but if you ask me about my strongest markets, there are definitely the Scandinavian countries. Isn't there a lot of competition? Oh, there, there's huge competition. The thing is that the smart home market, um, it's going to enter maturity somewhere in the future, in the near future. And there are, uh, I mean, lots of companies developing and offering all kinds of solutions. There are, again, the Chinese that are offering solutions to European companies and, uh, and, and consumers. But what we see is that customers are really, really frustrated because there are so many options on the market. So... What we see is that whenever a customer is, um, is happy with a company, they tend to stick with, their, with this company's products. In 2014, we incorporated a company. We found uh, early investors, uh, 11 and Rosling Capital from Bulgaria. They believed in the team, they believed in, uh, in, in, the, in the mission of the company and what we've achieved so far, and they invested. The real work began about 2015. Uh, so 2015, it was a, <laughs> an interesting year because we had to build the product. Uh, you know, the, the person that was building the hardware part of the product, 
at, at some point he stopped coming to work. He didn't pick up the phone for three months. Uh, uh, it was like, what the hell is happening? Um, but it turns out that he had some personal issues. That's fine. Then we restored the work and 2016 we had a product. Uh, 2016 we were about 12 or 13 people at the office. Now we were 10 and then I hired three salespeople. Uh, I hired three salespeople because obviously when you have salespeople you got to have some, some choice. Out of three people you're going to have best seller, you're going to have mediocre and of course somebody that doesn't do anything. And it was exactly the case. So. In this, in this year, we actually achieved some pretty, I mean, extraordinary sales results for, for the first year. Then in 2017, I had to, um, the, the partners, we decided that we have to make the portfolio bigger because we saw the potential of actually somebody buying one of our products, being happy, and then buying another one. 2017, we generated about 40% uh, lower revenue than 2016 when you know we had basically three salespeople including me uh, and then 2017 we had like almost 15 people salespeople so that was quite, kind of crazy so I decided to um, basically let go of the people uh, that were working outside uh, let go of the sales director as well and, um, and then I had I have one salesperson here and it's me and I decided to, uh, to, to, fix the, to fix the situation. So 2018, we had a 100% increase in revenue compared to the previous year. And as I said earlier, 2019, it's gonna be another at least 100% because we are already at 95% and it's February. What else can we expect from M Climate in the next 12 months? In the next 12 months, so we're gonna be releasing a portfolio of security products. So what you're going to see from us is uh, sensors for motion detection, for um, open doors and window detection, for smoke and for uh, leakage. This is the list that you're going to see and you're going to see it uh, in Q Q2. We have a couple of pilot, pilot projects with utilities we have in Australia, in Sweden, in Norway. Uh, we're going to start another project uh, soon here in Bulgaria. Mm -hmm.